so for using the light wand, it comes in two pieces separate from the endotracheal tube. You have your stylet itself, as well as the light wand. Um, so in general, you could just connect, you just kind of plug it in, there's a little clip, mm -hmm. um, so you know which way it goes, and then it lights up at the end. Mm -hmm. So you use this for a blind intubation, so you're not using DL. Um, so you sort of load up the stylet, or your tube onto the stylet like you normally would. You can get like a little bit of the light essentially coming out of the tip here. This sort of helps. Uh, and a guide keeps kind of this little edge of the endotracheal tube. And then it locks up here with this piece that was on the stylet. Um, so now when you're creating the shape, you want to make sort of a hyperangulated, almost like your glide scope blade. Let's see if I can. Probably okay. Uh, and so just like placing the glide scope, you follow kind of the curve of the mouth. And again, it's, it's a blind procedure. And you really just get it into that space and kind of just like tilt it back in. So we see here the light on the side. What I want to see is the light in midline. Now that I'm seeing light on the side means I'm in the esophagus. So we'll kind of advance out and then really try to stay midline from the top. There it yep. is. And there it is. So we can see the light right in the midline where the trachea should be. We can then advance the tube and pull out our wand, hopefully. And now, of course, that we have the endotracheal tube in the stylet, lighted stylet out, we can ventilate our patient uh, as we would.